Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. This time, we're talking about the FNAF movie. That doesn't happen very often, and also what doesn't happen very often is the fact that not only do we have FNAF movie news, it's good news. There's no delays, there's no rewriting of scripts, at least, I mean, we hope so. Basically, Jason Blum had an interview at the South by Southwest Film Festival convention, and he talked about the FNAF movie and what's going on with it. Because if you forgot, the movie has been in development heck for the longest time. But we finally got some good news out of Jason. We have a little bit to work with, as well as more news coming very soon, which I will also make a video about that when it comes out. But we're going to focus on the quick interview clip right now, and let's hop into it. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with more FNAF news, hit the like button, let's hop into it. So quickly, I will explain the development hack that has been the definition of FNAF movie. So back in 2015, yes, it's been that long. Right in between FNAF 3 and 4's release in April, we got news that the game would be getting a movie adaptation. Scott was going to work with Warner Brothers to bring the game into a movie adaptation. What could go wrong? Turns out a whole bunch of stuff. Not a whole lot of progress was made with Warner Bros. And eventually in 2017, we got news that Blumhouse would be creating the movie instead. So after about two years at Warner Bros., the movie wasn't making a whole lot of progress. There were delays, there were complications, a whole bunch of stuff. And so in 2017, we got a official tweet by Scott proving that they've moved on to a new company and now they're working with Blumhouse. And much like Warner Bros., not a whole lot of progress was made in the next coming years. Basically, all the news we got for three years leading up to 2020 was, we're writing a script. It's going to be great. You're excited for the FNAF movie, right? It'll come out eventually. So yeah, it's pretty safe to say the fan base was kind of losing interest. But then in late 2020, we finally got official words from Scott that they finally had found a script. He made a Reddit post on November 20th, 2020, saying bad news about the FNAF movie. And I think we all know the post by now. It's a bunch of scraps, screenplays for the movie. And finally, at the end, we get the Mike screenplay. Basic setup. Hmm. This makes sense. Why didn't I think of this before? Problems. Actually, this is a good mix. It has the best pieces from all of the previous screenplays, not really any problems here. All the right characters, all the right motivations, all the right stakes. Verdict. Yeah, we're going with this one. It's fun, it's scary, and it has a great central story. Oh right, on to the bad news. The bad news is that there won't be any more screenplays to add to this list, since we are officially going with the Mike screenplay. Filming starts in the spring. So there we go. After five years in total, three years at Blumhouse, we finally have a script, and they were going to film in spring of 2021. And then we got no news about the movie throughout the entirety of 2021. Spring came and went, and so did summer, and it wasn't until September 2021 we finally got another update, and it really wasn't what we were hoping to hear. Turns out, they scrapped the Mike screenplay, and on top of that, they had no director anymore. So that was a bummer. Not only did they not film in the spring, they also didn't even have a script. They didn't have Chris Columbus, the director, anymore, and now they had nothing. Over time, we got tweets here and there from Jason saying that he was determined to get the FNAF movie up and out, but no concrete news. Until today. Where long intro out of the way, right? Long recap out of the way. Let's move on to the new news. Where Jason Blum had an interview at the South by Southwest Film Festival convention 2022. And he talked about the film. And so without further ado, let's watch the interview. On Freddy's, we are... This is it. We are dangerously close. I will say that we are dangerously Director, close. Everything. I'm just saying we're we're dangerously close wow. to to more news. Dangerously oh, yeah. close. Okay. Um, so that could certainly be in 23. Uh, our big. So that was the clip. Now you may be thinking, Johnny Blocks, what the hell was that? He barely said anything. Well, he did say that we are quote dangerously close to more news about the film, which honestly. As a FNAF movie fan, we just gotta take the, the tiniest things. Now you notice, the person who was doing the interview after Jason said, we're dangerously close to news, the interviewer went, 
director, producer, you know, like he was trying to get Jason to say a bit more, but Jason didn't budge. He just kept saying, we're dangerously close to more news. Now, I don't know about you, but I take that as they have a big announcement coming and they will hopefully announce a script, producer, director, all those big things. Cause you can tell Jason's confident. Right? He's like, we got big things coming, you know? We are dangerously close to more news. He even goes on to say that it could come out in 2023. We'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, he just seems so confident that this news that we are dangerously close to is going to be pretty big. If it was something small like, oh yeah, you know, we've nailed down a, a new director or a producer or a script, I feel like he would have just said that in the interview. Unless they have more bigger stuff to announce. I'm not saying it's like a trailer or a movie poster or anything like that, but I do think it's gonna be something that'll get fans hyped. I don't think they filmed, I'll, I'll be straight up, honestly, but I think the most likely explanation for why he didn't answer those questions is because he wants to share them with the rest of the big news, which will hopefully be filming dates. So even though we don't know what the big news is, I do think it's gonna be something pretty hyped, like a final script or a producer, director. I feel like it has to be at least one of those, as well as a filming date. I do think we're gonna get a filming date pretty soon, at least I hope so. But yes, I definitely do not think we are anywhere close to a teaser or a trailer of any kind or like a poster. I, it's definitely not gonna be something Something like that. But now let's talk about the 2023 release date, because I've seen some people say that he's talking about the news will be revealed next year, when obviously no, that, that's not the case at all. Dangerously Close is not seven months away and, and then some in 2023. No, that's like a few weeks, maybe a few months from now. When he says that could be 23, I do think he means the film could be released in 2023. Next freaking year, dude. So I do think that this big news will be something that'll, you know, push the movie forward. Again, whether it be director, producer, script, what have you, or a filming date, it, it's gonna be something that'll push the movie forward because there are so many doubts about the film. But I think the best thing about all of this is that Jason is confident that we will get a movie. He said it on Twitter. You can tell by the way he speaks and his posture. And I think that's important. It's also important to realize there's a lot of people still hyped for this movie. FNAF is a massive IP, way bigger than it was in 2015, even at what some people consider to be its peak. With the release of Security Breach, we have hit a brand new peak. And if they can capitalize on all the discussions about FNAF and SB and all the new fans, I don't know if that really made sense, but I think you realize what I'm trying to say. I do think it's gonna be something big. I can tell that, you know, Jason's confident about the news, about the movie as a whole. And I have seen people who are like, eh, I don't don't know I'm, I'm very doubtful with the you know the track record of the film but i think this is our shot but that is going to do it for today once we get that new news of course i'll let you know once it comes out i'm curious let me know in the comments down below are you still even excited for the FNAF movie? Who do you want to see in the movie? Like casting, cameos, Easter eggs, things like that. How do you feel about the new news we're gonna be getting very soon? Also, how do you feel about that maybe 2023 release window? Tell me how you feel in the comments down below and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.